Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are in this amazing world. And thank you guys so much for tuning in for another video of DIY Investing. You guys have known for a few weeks now that Ethereum has been my biggest cryptocurrency holding. I hold more than XRP, I hold more than Tezos, because I'm excited about what is coming for this next cycle in Ethereum's market structure. Now what we've seen up to this point has been Ethereum leading the altcoin market. It's been outperforming the altcoin market since it's been around, and I expect that this cycle it's going to continue to do that. Ethereum, for you guys that do not know, has been the king altcoin. It's been the second biggest cryptocurrency behind Bitcoin, and because of this, it's oftentimes led the altcoin rally rallies and we've seen massive ROIs inside of Ethereum's price structure. It's my personal belief that the people investing in Ethereum and understanding what Ethereum is doing are going to have themselves a big advantage over the rest of the market because not only are they going to be earning one of more consistent highest returning assets, but they're also going to be able to know exactly what the rest of the altcoin markets are going to do because most of them follow Ethereum first. Now, if you guys are new and just finding this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to this channel for more updates. Make sure you guys click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos like the one provided for you here. Now, remember guys, I offer a really awesome educational series inside of my Discord. The video course is 20 educational videos that teach you guys all of the same strategies that I personally use to profit inside of crypto every day. It's a mix of short-term, mid-term, and long-term trading and investing opportunities. It teaches you guys all of the fancy indicators that I use. It teaches you guys all of the price action that I use. And it teaches you guys a lot of the same strategies that I actually go about profiting inside of my trading plan. So you guys are definitely going to want to check that out. I also offer Signal. So if you guys are actually wanting to copy my own personal portfolio, follow the trades that I'm taking, and actually ask me about my portfolio management that I offer in my Discord, you guys are definitely going to want to get access to the Discord by clicking the invitation link in the description of this video, and then you're going to get access to my Discord. Once you have access, just message me on here, and I will get back to you guys as soon as possible. This is a really awesome place for you guys to actually congregate, share your own thoughts and perspective, as well as maybe even copy my own educational content and copy my own portfolio and trading plan moving forward. If you guys want to profit alongside next to me, highly recommend you guys check this out. So message me on here and I will get back to you. With all that being said, guys, thank you all so much for the support. We've got a lot of really cool things to cover in Ethereum's video today, so let's dive right into it. For today's video, we're going to be looking at Ethereum on the dollar. We're going to glance over and compare Ethereum on the dollar against the altcoin market cap. We're also going to be taking a look at Ethereum on the Bitcoin pair and then comparing that to the Ethereum dominance chart. Now, the reason for this and the way I've structured this video is actually just to get uh, a little bit more of an understanding with Ethereum. Now, it's not necessarily a video just to shill you Ethereum, telling you guys to buy Ethereum. It's actually a video that talks about my reasons for liking Ethereum, but then it is a major update on overall what the rest of the altcoin market is doing as well. Because I mean, even if you hold XRP, even if you hold Tezos, any of these other altcoins, um, watching this video, even if it is titled something to do with Ethereum, you're gonna be able to have a fuller understanding of what's gonna happen with the long-term and the mid-term perspective moving forward with altcoins because you guys got to understand that ethereum is the biggest altcoin it's got the most volume and the most new money coming into this market and so the biggest majority of that cryptocurrency market is coming inside of ethereum not counting bitcoin just counting altcoins and so what's happening here is the rest of the market's going to follow what ethereum does because the mar the money that's entering this market is first going through ethereum and so obviously guys wherever the month wherever the money enters first that's where the market's going to follow. So I mean, Bitcoin's the, really the driver. Money leaves Bitcoin and then it goes straight into Ethereum. And then when money leaves Ethereum, it goes into the rest of the pack. And so that's something to really be aware of when it comes to investing inside of the cryptocurrency market, because it's really important to have at least a sum of an exposure to Ethereum. And I, a lot of people will argue with me against that. They'll make the argument that their coin is better from all of these technical reasons and fundamental perspectives. And to be quite honest, guys, I, that might be true. And there might definitely come a point in time where Ethereum isn't leading the market. But what I can tell you guys from right now watching these charts is that is what's happening. So you don't really want to fight that trend. Now, with Ethereum being that driver of value, you're going to get one of the most consistent returning um, investments out there. It's going to give you a really good ROI. It's going to consistently outperform the rest of the altcoin market. 
And on top of that, Ethereum is going to be outperforming Bitcoin, which is, you know, the most important aspect of all. Really, what I want to tell you guys when it comes to investing is if you can't find an altcoin that looks like it's going to outperform Ethereum, don't invest in it at all because it's really Ethereum that's going to give you that consistent return. And you'd make more money just holding Ethereum than you would try and trade all of these volatile price swings. And if your cryptocurrency simply isn't outperforming Ethereum now, then you're only going to be losing money and you would have just made more had you held Ethereum. And so I've talked enough. Now let's actually dive into the real technicals. Now, Ethereum here, we've had a nice new intake of volume coming out. Price has actually rallied up close towards this cycle high of about $365. And we can see that right here. We found support down at the new year. And from that new year, we've pretty much just started our impulse. Now, for me, looking at this, there's a couple scenarios that I'm watching for. Um, but at first glance, I'm going to continue to ride this bull trend. I'm going to continue to say that this is bullish. Now, from what I can see at first glance, this just looks like a one, a three, and we'll get another five wave impulse that theoretically should take us to at least the top of the cycle high. And I would not be the least bit surprised if we actually break outside of that. And we could have a really extended five wave that takes us upwards of, you know, 400 and $450, somewhere right around there. Um, but I'm not here sitting here trying to draw exact price targets. I'm just showing you guys how it looks from a technical perspective. Now, what that theoretically should do is that should give us the impulse needed to actually break out of this cycle high. Now, what you guys maybe do not understand is what is forming currently is just a classic uh, double bottom reversal pattern. And it's similar to what we saw back in 2015 Bitcoin. Basically, you have a low. Um, out of those lows, we make our first rally. Um, we find resistance here. We fall back down. And then in the second retrace, we actually go back down to retest the first lows. We find support and then we start the next impulse. Now, what has to happen for a tr confirmed trend reversal is we actually have to break out of this cycle high, which is about right here at $360, somewhere right around that area. Once we can actually break outside of that and then hold support and get a, cons uh, a confirmed support and resistance flip in that area, then that's going to be an entire trend change of this bear trend. And so all of these retracing markets that we've seen over the last couple years, um, a breakout of this cycle high at about 360 bucks would actually show a complete reversal of this because at this point we would have made our first higher high in the new bullish trend and so that's something to pay attention for that's kind of what i'm expecting to happen inside of ethereum and when that happens we should theoretically start seeing the bulk of our impulse now I'm really excited about Ethereum and that's my biggest reasons for accumulating so much of it. Just the simple fact that the rest of the market's gonna follow whatever the best performing cryptos are. Best performing cryptos, hands down Bitcoin, hands down Ethereum. And anybody that tries to argue against that simply has no argument at all. I mean, obviously other altcoins will outperform Ethereum, will outperform Bitcoin, but the thing is, are they going to be consistently outperforming Ethereum or Bitcoin, or are they only going to do it in spurts? And that's really what you have to um, be aware of, because you don't want to be losing out on money when you could have just bought Ethereum. Now, looking at Ethereum here, that's really the go-to that we're waiting for. If we can break out of that previous cycle high, then it's a confirmed trend reversal. Now, if we drop it to a shorter time frame, let's actually see kind of what's uh, standing in the way of us making that happen. Now. What I'm seeing currently forming is a symmetrical triangle, um, or I guess you could call it a bullish pennant since it is forming on a bullish trend. And basically what that means is we just have this contracting triangle pattern. Now, this is actually a 50-50 chart pattern. It means it can play out either or. Um, we could very easily sell through this and we could just as easily break up and out into a new cycle high. And so um, the fact that it is coming in a bullish trend, meaning we are uptrending overall, makes me feel that this is a little bit more of a bullish setup. But with that being said, guys, a contracting triangle is more of a 50-50 bet. It's hard to say exactly what way it's gonna go. But the fact that it is coming in a bullish trend, obviously you'd think that it was gonna break bullish just because of that. You don't wanna fight the trend. And so that's what we're seeing on a shorter time frame basis. Now, if we do get a breakout, obviously you know that I'm, tar I'm targeting the cycle high at about 360 bucks. Now, if we get a drop and sell off, then realistically to me, I would expect that our first real support level would probably fall about here. Um, that's where I would first watch. Uh, but we also have some Fibonacci relations and let's actually throw these up so it's a little easier to see. Now, if we actually started selling off, then I think that we have the potential to drop down to about as low as here, 
which would be price wise about $194. Um, I'm not targeting exact fib levels, but I am watching for the relationship pair in general. And so this is really where I would watch Ethereum. Um, I don't really think that we're going to consolidate and chop around sideways for a whole lot of period of time. In fact, I think it's a little more, more likely we would break out of here, but I mean, with the symmetrical triangle, it can really go either way. We're just going to have to watch and see, but that's with Ethereum on a short term and midterm basis. Now let's actually kind of look and see what I'm expecting from a little bit of a longer term cycle because obviously we know kind of what to expect here. We're going to go to the cycle high or we're going to have a short term uh, correction back down to, you know, about 210 to uh, $190, somewhere right around there would be my uh, estimate. And then from that point, we're really going to be looking to break out of this cycle high and start our bigger impulse. Now, overall, we're, I, in my opinion, we've still started this bigger bullish uptrend. And so the corrections are going to be short lived either way, whether we pull back and make a little bit of a bigger correction or whether we get impulse from here, it doesn't really matter. But what we're going to expect to find is a bigger term um, impulse actually starting. And so for me, I think that if we pull up some Fibonacci relationships, we're going to be able to kind of see where we could potentially go. Now, for me, I do believe that we're going to hit at least the 382 level. To me, it makes sense that if we impulse, we hit this 382, we very easily could go higher than that. And that's something to watch for. But I think that we're at least going to hit this 382. Now, from the 382, we can go higher or we can kind of sell back down, retest the previous uh, cycle high as a support and then you know go back up into that next impulse and so this is what i'm going to be watching out for with ethereum overall this is what i'm expecting whether the impulse takes us up here or whether it takes us here down a little lower around 600 bucks either way i'm expecting a pretty significant impulse to come inside of this market and so this is really just setting the stage for the overall big picture reversal and so that's what i'm going to be watching out for with ethereum now this is what we can expect to see on a shorter term a midterm and a longer term basis. Realistically, 2020 is going to be a year of us uptrending in the previous cycle before we start reaching these all time high levels. And then I do believe that 2021 is where we're going to actually break from those previous all time levels and start entering price discovery. And that's probably where we'll end up for about another year's time. And so that's just the way that the cycles work. Now, this actually takes us to the next part of this video. And this is actually where we are going to be talking about the cycles. Uh, itself and my reason for that is because we're gonna be take well what I should say is my reason for taking a look at the altcoin total market cap when comparing the cycles is because the altcoin total market cap shows all of the money inside of the altcoin market this is only excluding Bitcoin so all of your favorite altcoins are going to be a part of this graph and it just shows you the kind of the average of all of the money inside of those altcoins now the reason why I choose this graph is and the reason why we're talking about it with Ethereum is because of the simple fact that the altcoin total market cap follows more closely to Ethereum than any other cryptocurrency out there. A lot of the other majors will show similarities and a lot of the cryptos out there will show similarities in general, but Ethereum shows the most similarities out there. And so that's my biggest reason why Ethereum is my biggest altcoin position is because it's consistently per outperforming the altcoin market. Not only that, but it's outperforming Bitcoin. It's the safest bet in my opinion. And so I'm going to hold that trend. Now, if we're taking a look at here, I wanted to go through and analyze the cycles because um, we only have so much that we can look at with Ethereum. Now, with the total market cap, we have price history all the way back to 2013, whereas with Ethereum, obviously, we only have 2017's rally. Well, technically we have 2015, but it was really 2017, 2016 and 2017 bull run that we have a uh, price history of. Now we're going to go through here and I want to share with you guys the cycles and how the cycles actually work and kind of what I'm expecting to play out inside of Ethereum. Now, what we can see here is what I've, for whatever reason, what I've been updating you guys with new year's reversal patterns inside of uh, crypto. And it's what we call as winter in crypto. Um, that is the time of reversals. And so we can see that every time uh, we have one of these black lines, we're going to get our major reversal. And we're actually going to make this one red because this came at the top of a bullish trend. So the bearish trend starts. Now, what I've noticed here is the new year is a really strong time of reversals. But with these bigger term cycles, generally speaking, it goes in about two year increments. And so at the new year, we'll have the start of our bearish trend. And now two years from that point, 
we actually start a brand new reversal. So two years from 2014 takes us to 2016. That would put us right here. And we can see that two years from that point put us at basically the exact bottom before we had our bullish reversal. Now, if the cycle continues, two years into the future should theoretically put us at back here at the top of the bull cycle. So let's go two years from 2016, 2018, which is right there. And this is really what I've been updating you guys with. Um, really, this is the way that the cycles have played out thus far, and that's why I've been consistently expecting it to perform uh, like it has thus far. Now, if this continues to play out, then two years from the top of the bear cycle, puts us at the reversal of the bear cycle and into the new bull cycle. Now two years puts us at right here. And we'll make this one green because that's the top or that's the bottom of the bearish trend. And now what we're starting is the new bullish cycle. And so realistically guys, we're right here. And this is the total altcoin market cap. So all of your favorite altcoins are following this trend. That's why none of this short-term price action matters. That's why none of this really matters in general until we're about a year past the happening at least because really guys, you only need to look at the big picture trend. What's happening on the big picture trend is happening on the rest of the altcoin market cap. And so you don't really need to worry so much about the short-term price action that we're seeing. Really, you just need to look at what's happening on a bigger term basis. Now, guys, looking at this, we're gonna be able to see that the cycles are following identically. Just like in the previous cycle, we have phase one, the top of the bull trend, phase two, which is exactly two years away from the top of the bear trend, we get phase two, which is the start of the bull trend. And now, just like the same cycle, we start phase one, which happens exactly two years after the new bull trend starts. And we can see that happened right here. And now we start phase two, which if you guys remember is exactly two years after the major bullish reversal. Two years from that point puts us here. And what would you guys know? We are exactly starting the impulse directly out of that new year. The exact bottom was after the new year and then we started going up. And that's what I've been telling you guys and that's what I've been expecting to have happen. And so from here, we need to now apply this to Ethereum because really guys, Ethereum is the exact same chart. We can see the same similarities in structure. This altcoin total market cap chart is the exact same thing based off of a market structure perspective as the Ethereum chart right here today. And that's what we're seeing right now. Anytime we have such a strong correlation between the Ethereum chart and the total market cap chart, it shows you guys just how correlated these two charts are. And that's why the bulk of the money going into the altcoins is going into Ethereum. That's why it's your safest bet. Now, if we look at this and we actually apply those same formulas, let's, ex let's see kind of how the cycles are gonna play out still to come. Now, really guys, the only difference that we have here is we just don't have the same cycle uh, that's lining up. And I'll indicate that here. Now, we do get the same sort of reversal points. We can see that January 1st was the start of the bull trend. Two years from that point, we get the same reversal. That starts the bearish trend. Two years from that point starts the new bullish trend. And we can see that we are getting the same cycle. The only real difference is the fact that on the total market cap, we have more price history, right? We have a little bit more price history to go off of. With Ethereum, we start right here. We start at phase two and then we go into the new bull run. And so that's really where we were here. Now with the total market cap, we still have all of this previous data to go off of. Now this is why I don't think that it's important to really look at technicals from only one specific coin. I think it's much better to actually map out the total market cap of the altcoins because then we're gonna know what the rest of them are doing. Now based off of this, we've only finished a one, a three, and now we still have a five wave impulse to come. And so this is really what the final bull run of this stage is gonna be. We're gonna see one more final five wave impulse still to come, and that's gonna be really that big mania phase inside of this market. And the people that are investing in it now are gonna be setting up to make a huge ROI. Look at all this new volume that came in directly after the new year. 
we just started another one of these brand new cycles and that's why it's so important that we're making smart trades now is because I can map these out to you guys in a really easy to understand way. If you're still here watching this video and you're watching all of the things that I'm sharing with you, I would be totally shocked if you don't at least see the significant amount of value inside of this market. Um, what we're seeing now is Ethereum leading that charge. We're seeing Ethereum really starting to take foot in this next bull run. And we're seeing roughly the same exact cycle as before. This consolidation is almost the exact same as what we saw here. There's really no different. The only major difference is we held support up here a little bit higher. This one was a little bit stronger of a sell off, but the cycles are lining up identically based off of time frames. Now, Ethereum is going to continue to follow this trend, and we're going to see another major bull run about to play out. Now, 2020 is going to be the year of the uptrend, and 2021 is going to start that parabolic run. And so we have till about here at this black line to really accumulate below this all-time high mark. My guess is by the time we hit 2021, we're going to be at or past this all-time high mark, or at least really close in that range. And then we're going to see another major year of parabolic runs that are probably going to last till about here. Now, that's what I'm going to be watching out for on a long-term basis with Ethereum. I'm comparing it to the total market cap of the altcoins because the total market cap follows more closely to Ethereum. And so we obviously know that if Ethereum is following close to this chart and the two are parodying each other very closely, then we're going to continue to see that resemblance into the next cycle. And so this next cycle, I'm expecting it to get very parabolic. And so we really need to keep Ethereum on our radar for those reasons. That's why it's my biggest altcoin position. That's why I'm so excited about it. Anytime you can break down cycles to almost this exact of a time frame, you guys, are know, you guys know that that's gonna perform very well. Now, before we wrap up this video, we still have a couple things to talk about. We have Ethereum on the Bitcoin pair, and we also have the Ethereum dominance. Now, Ethereum dominance just shows how much of the total market cap um, is held and controlled by Ethereum. And so right now we're at about 10.5%. And so what that means is out of the 100% of money inside of the uh, inside of the cryptocurrency market, only 10.5% of that is currently in Ethereum. And so that's what the dominance shows, but the dominance is actually more closely related to the actual Bitcoin pair itself. Now, I find that interesting to me how the altcoin total market cap follows more closely with the Ethereum versus the dollar pair and how Ethereum versus Bitcoin follows more closely to the Ethereum dominance. And so this is where we get a couple of these charts that show the exact same correlations, but they represent different meanings. And really what Ethereum Bitcoin represents is what your Ethereum value is pegged to the value of Bitcoin. And so right now we have a 0 0.0276 value. So what that means is one Ethereum is valued and worth 0 0.0276 uh, a Bitcoin. And so we're gonna go through here and we're gonna look at kind of what is playing out inside of Ethereum currently. Now we have this long-term downtrend. Really, you could make the argument that we're right at that downtrend. Um, but the problem with trend lines is you can draw them a number of different ways. Now, if we go from the second lower high and we actually go through here and label just this descending resistance, we can see that we already got a break. And so there's a couple different ways you can draw this. You could draw it clear out here if you wanted. You could theoretically bring it down here. Um, but what I wanted to point out to you guys was the fact that we do have this major downtrend. And based off of my personal analysis, because I'm drawing it like this, to me, it looks like we've already broken out. And that's what I think personally. I think that we had this major downtrend and Ethereum is actually broken out of that. And so what that means is for the longest time, Ethereum has been downtrending versus Bitcoin. The fact that we broke this downtrend shows that we are actually starting a new Ethereum bull run and a new altcoin bull run in its place. And what's gonna happen is Ethereum and the rest of the altcoin market are gonna actually start outperforming Bitcoin. And this is kind of what is to be expected. And so looking at the Ethereum Bitcoin pair, it's really important that we have broken outside of this because this is really one of the most important things uh, that we can look at. Because if we look at the Bitcoin dom or the Ethereum dominance, we're gonna see that we get roughly the same sort of price structure. It's just a little bit different. Now, this is where it's really important because on the Ethereum dominance, we can see that this trend line had held us even longer 
and we have broken from that. So after about five or six different attempts to break from this, we have finally just now done so. And so from a dominance perspective, we're now gonna expect to see Ethereum's dominance and market share start to increase. We're currently at 10.5%. I expect this number is going to continue to grow from here and we're going to continue to see ethereum really leading that next major bull run now obviously ethereum is the second biggest cryptocurrency and so bitcoin is going to be driving that value but ethereum is going to be outperforming bitcoin and so really i think that a lot of new money is going to be coming into this market from ethereum and we should be really aware of what is taking place here now obviously we can now i feel like this is the proof that we needed that shows that the altcoins have full Fully reversed because ethereum is the biggest altcoin it's going to be the first altcoin to really make its moves and it's going to be the first one to tell what the rest of the market is going to do the fact that ethereum has broken from its major downtrend as far as the dominance it's broken from its major dominant or it's broken from its major downtrend as terms of bitcoin and we're also seeing the major cycle playing out inside of this where the total market cap is just once again starting a brand new impulse and so realistically guys we're right here we just started the new impulses after the new year and we're going to be going into this major bull run and that's why it is so 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 important to be accumulating right now finding good investments taking long calculated trades that you're going to be holding the majority of this next cycle and writing out those profits because you guys are not going to be able to out trade 100x most likely most of you will not be able to do that. And so there's no point in buying low, selling high, really just buy now while it is low. And we can see that historically, this is a low point in structure. And we scale out a couple years from now, not based off of price targets, not based off of market cap, not based off of any of these random uh, events or anything, but more based off of just the time frames of the cycles. And if you follow these time frames, we're going to know when to take profits, we're going to know when to scale out, and we're going to have a lot of money that we've made because we were smart investors and we timed the cycle right. And so this is the video I had for you guys. I want to talk about Ethereum, really start this Monday off strong because Ethereum is the driver of value inside of that altcoin market, not counting Bitcoin. Uh, Ethereum is going to continue to outperform. It's been doing it thus far and we've been seeing the early signs of that. And I think that it's caught a lot of people off guard because most people forgot about Ethereum. Most people kind of, you know, swept it under the table. They didn't really expect it to continue to do good. Everybody called the ICO craze just this bubble that was uh, hysteria in 2017 and will never replicate again. And to be quite honest, it's those sure statements that people have that oftentimes are proven completely false. And I do believe that we're going to continue to kind of see them proven false in this next cycle. Everybody forgot about Ethereum. Everybody went heavier into some of these other altcoins and we're now starting to see Ethereum outperform the rest of those altcoins everybody else went heavy in. And so, you know, with that being said, we're going to start to see those people FOMO back into Ethereum. And when that happens, that's when you're going to start to see Ethereum really start to skyrocket. It's my personal opinion and belief that we're going to see a very parabolic cycle inside of Ethereum. And that's why everybody should have at least a small amount of exposure because you can't really go wrong holding the best performing altcoin of all time. And that's just what I have to say. And so thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys found any value in this video, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to this channel for more updates. Make sure you guys click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos like the one provided for you here. I also offer the video course and signal, so if you guys want to copy my own personal portfolio or you would like to follow quality content that I've uh, created based off of all of my knowledge inside of crypto to teach you guys all of the strategies I use to profit then you guys are definitely going to want to click the invitation link in the description of this video and there you're going to get access to my discord server once you have to access to my discord server all you got to do is just message me in there and I will get back to you guys as soon as possible so thank you guys so much for tuning in with all that being said I will catch you in the next video as always peace out